today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a business card. I'm going to use some of our artwork from one of our design kits called Inca. This tutorial will be done in Adobe Photoshop. Links to where to get the artwork and to get a free 30 day trial Photoshop are down below. Really the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you some interesting ways to create shapes and to insert the artwork into your project. So hopefully you can learn some new tricks or tips today. Before you get started, it's a really good idea to decide where you're going to get your business cards printed. I'm going to use an online company called Moo.com. They provide a free template for you to work on and most online printers will. So download that and open it up in Photoshop. And here you will see your guidelines. You want all your text and your logo to be within this safe area here. This is where your artwork will be trimmed, but you also want all your designs to go over the bleed area as you don't want a white edge along your card. So let's go ahead and start adding artwork. I'm going to just hide this guideline. I'm going to go down to my background layer and create a new layer. I'm going to just fill this with white and you can fill this with any color that you like. Go to your paint bucket tool. If you don't see that, right click and select paint bucket or hit G for short. I'm going to paint it white so you won't see a difference yet. Now I'm going to add some shapes. So to do that, first of all, go to your shape tool, right click and go down to the polygon tool. I want a shape that's six sides. With your shift key held down on your keyboard, then just simply drag your cursor and your shape will start to appear. I'm going to fill this with a color. I'm going to select a pink and stroke set to none. Then go across to your move tool, move it to more central. I'm going to rotate this so that the point is to the top of my canvas. To do that, go up to edit, transform and rotate. Hold down your shift key again, and this will help keep it straight and just rotate it around. Once you've done, hit the tick key. I'm also going to widen this shape. So again, you can go up to edit and transform, but a shorter way is control or command T on your keyboard and it'll bring up these bounding boxes. You can just drag this along. I'm also going to make this a little slimmer. Hold down your shift key. and double click or hit the tick or hit enter for when you're done. Next, go up to your move tool and I'm going to center this image. So go across to your layers panel, hit control or command and select layer one. These shapes will appear and this is to align your horizontal center and to align vertical centers. Next, I'm going to add some artwork to this shape. So select your polygon shape and I'm going to use artwork from our Inca kit. Inside that, we've got some backgrounds. I'm going to use a, a design called Inca Roast. And you can, of course, use any artwork that you'd like. I'm holding down the shift key to keep proportions and dragging it to get the right size. Double click once you're done. And now I want this artwork to apply only to the polygon shape. So to do that, right click on your Inca Roast layer and create clipping mask. And you can see the design has just been applied to your shape. Now I'm going to create a banner just so that I can add my logo in front of it. Go across to your tools panel, right click and select your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle, any shape that you like. I've got my fill to white and stroke set to zero. Now I'm going to align this central again. So go across to your layers panel, hit control or command on your keyboard and then select your layer. Make sure to go up to your move tool and you will see these icons. So again, align them vertically and horizontally. Now I'm going to add my logo. To do that, make sure you're on your top layer, rectangle one. I'm going to drag and drop my logo. I'm going to bring it, make it a bit smaller. I'm holding down the shift key as I do this to keep proportions. 
keep moving it around until you find somewhere where you're happy with it. Next, I'm going to add some artwork to this. Go across to our design kit again. I'm going to use one of our arrangements. The design I'm going to use is a smoky purple Inca. You want to use the PNG file because it has a transparent background to it. Just drag and drop it in. Hold down the shift key and move it in to get the size that you would like. And double click, hit enter or the tick when you're done. I would like the artwork to be placed behind the shape. So to do that, you have to just drag this down to behind your polygon shape and you can see it being placed here. Okay, I'm going to just have the same artwork on the opposite side of the canvas. A quick way to do that is hold down your Alt key on your keyboard, drag and drop it. And you'll see it's made a copy over in your layers panel here. I want to rotate this shape so that it's facing this one. So to do that, go up to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And you can see the artwork has been moved. I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. So Control or Command T, bring up your box and hold down the shift key to keep proportions and you can rotate and drag around. Double click, hit enter or the tick at the top once you're done. I am also going to add some more artwork at the bottom. I'm going to choose my pink and peach arrangement. Again, it's the PNG file. Hold down the shift key to keep proportions and drag and drop to where you find you would like your artwork. Double click. And I'm going to again paste this artwork across to the other side here. Hold down your Alt key and drag it. You see it's made a copy up here. Bring up your box to rotate it, Control or Command T. Move to where you're happy. I'm now going to add one more piece. And I'm going to choose the purple and green flower arrangement. Drag and drop. And double click once you're done. Next, I'm going to add some text. Go across to your tools panel, go down to T and draw a rectangle. I'm going to change my font size to six. You can choose your font here and you can choose your color here. I'm just going to go for a darker black. Hit OK and type in what you would like. Once you're done, hit tick. In this particular design, I'm just designing the front of the card, but if you've got more information, then it might be a good idea to have a separate design for the back and you can have all your text on there. So when you're happy with that, just make sure that you're within the safe area. Yes, I am. Once you're done, make sure to delete this file. Then go up to file, save as. And I'm going to save that as Inca. Go down to your format and select JPEG. And then hit save. You want your quality to be as high as it can and then hit OK. And that's you done. So once you're finished, go to your website and upload your file. They might accept different file formats, but usually JPEG is fine. So that's how I designed my business card. I hope that you learned something new from this tutorial and have fun designing your own.